Today, MTD CNC are in the West Midlands. We're at RP Technologies. Shortly, I'm going to meet with Brett Mitchell, who's one of the directors here at the company, and he's going to tell me why, over the last 13 years, they've invested in 19 Herco machine tools. Firstly, Brett, I'd like to congratulate you on a rather clean-looking and healthy manufacturing environment. How do you maintain this? Um, a lot of hard work. Um, we have a lot of first-tier automotive suppliers that expect it to be clean and tidy, and um, that's the image we like to portray. Okay, in a sentence, if you can, can you just summarise what RP Technologies do here in the West Midlands? Yeah, we're without limits, so we produce low-volume production tooling and also prototype tooling. Um, and then we go on to produce the plastic mouldings as well. Incredibly, you've only been uh, in business 13 years? That's right, yeah. Wow, I mean, s some story here. I mean, you, you've also moved recently from Howells Owen, I believe, to here into this bigger facility. How, how comes so much growth? Um, we put a lot of money back into the company. Um, we're constantly reinvesting in new machinery, new technology, um, and that's the way we've grown, really. We've constantly reinvested. And I, and I asked you to summarise in a sentence uh, what the company does. Can you do the same about your strengths maybe and why you've grown so quickly? Yeah, we're about customer service, so we produce what the customer wants. They send the parts in, we try not to modify the parts. You know, if, it's, if we're able to produce it, we'll produce it. We don't go back to the customer asking them to change the component because it's easier or, you know, it's not going to fill or we, we, we have workarounds. And it obviously works. Now, let's have a look at this fabulous part that we've got here. This is a great example of one of the uh, tools that you're making on your, on your current, your new Herco machine, isn't it? Can you tell us a little bit about the machining involved in this and the machine it's done on? Yeah, the machine, we bought this machine just a couple of months ago because it, it, it expanded our capabilities with size. Um, we'll go on, to, we've just ordered a, a moulding machine as well to cope, to cope with the tools that we can produce off this machine. So yeah, this, this is just a, a typical tool. We make tools big and small. They're very, you know, of a similar type. And it's predominantly aluminium that you're machining, correct? We do predominantly machine aluminium. We do produce steel inserts for the tooling if we think that it requires it, but generally the whole tool is aluminium. It's how we can produce large or small tools in very tight timescales. And, and so how long would something like this take you to machine here on this Herco machine from start to finish? From start to finish, this takes about three days. There's a lot of metal removal. How does the machine handle that, Brett? Very easily, to be honest with you. As long as you get the right cutters for the machine, you know, we don't have a problem. We're taking 10 mil cuts with this on a 50 mil cutter without any issues. Now, I opened this video by saying that over, over this, that since the company was founded, you've purchased, I think it's 19 machines from Herco, is that correct? That's correct, yeah. Uh, why, why the Hercos and why the continuation on that theme? Um, the Hercos, we went to see quite a lot of um, machine tool producers, manufacturers when we first looked to start the business. And um, when we walked into Herco, we realized that it was, it was a much more solid machine than the competitors. Um, and that's why we first bought the Herco. Also the control, it's very simple, it's very easy to use, it's very you know, easy to understand. It's also very t easy to teach to somebody. So once we'd learnt it in the early days, it, it seemed a natural progression to keep with the same machine. So you're not having to teach new controls or new information to people as they come in. It's just, you can learn this machine, you've learned every machine we've got. On the controls, it was interesting because I mentioned to you before we, before we conducted this interview about your older machines and the migration from the older controls up to the newer ones. But you've had all your older machines uh, fitted with the latest software as well, haven't you? So there's no, there's no changes. Yeah, that's correct. We, we invested in all of our older machines, so we upgraded those to the latest software because they run quicker. Now, this particular machine here is, is huge, isn't it? Uh, I mean, th this for you, biggest machine here you have in your machine shop? It is at the moment, yes. Um, that's not to say we won't go bigger. We're, it's wherever our customers decide to take us. And one of, the, one of the other points about this machine is the accuracy of it. Uh, you mentioned to me as well earlier about the, the spindle on this and some of the features that are on this machine that enable it to maintain the tolerances that you require on these parts. Can you tell us about those? Yeah, the, the machine it has a spindle chiller, so we're able to keep the spindle at a, a constant temperature which means that it doesn't grow or shrink with the environment or how long the machine's been on. Therefore, we get added accuracy. We also use shrink-fit tooling um, 
for the, for the machining. So yeah, and, and I would think that's quite important, uh, especially when you're looking at long cycles of machining, because this isn't you know a very small component where you're only going to be machining for five minutes and the machine's down again. This is going to be machining for hours and hours and hours. So to maintain that constant temperature is important, isn't it? It is, yeah, especially as we machine lights out as well. So in the evenings when there's no one's here, all the machines are still running overnight. Do you ever have any problems with these machines? And if you do, um, how do Herco service you? I'm not saying we don't have any problems, especially on the older machines, but we have a service package with Herco. Um, they're very good, they're very quick turnaround. They come, they fix it as quickly as they possibly can, and we're up and running again. This wasn't the only machine you purchased recently. The one next to it uh, came with it as well. Can you tell us about that model? Yeah. I mean, it's little and large almost, isn't it? It is a little bit. That's a, a VMX30. Um, it's just a smaller machine. They're, they're built with the same philosophy. So we've got spindle chiller on that one as well. Um, it's just size, just capacity on the bed. And, and quite often when we're traveling around Herco customers, we tend to find a lot of excitement around their new five axis innovations and their technology in that area. But it seems like here in your machine shop, you are predominantly a three axis machining company. Is that as a result of the types of parts that you, you're making here? Yeah, that's correct. We do have five axis capabilities, but not to the degree we are, that we have with the three axis. And it's just because we're making mold tools. So the, the parts have to come out the tools. So therefore machining them with a straight spindle is not a problem. A final couple of points on that new control there. I know it's the Max 5 double screen, pretty impressive. Yes, they are an impressive control unit yeah do you get involved in using them yourselves now I don't suppose you do do you I don't myself now no unfortunately um, unless there's a problem then they I'm the first person they come to to try um, and solve it we've been traveling around this area today talking to other engineering companies you have to be probably the biggest we, we we've been to how many guys do you employ here or how many people in total I think we've got about 53 here now we run three shifts on the molding side and we just hopefully in the not too distant future are going to start a, shi a second shift on the um, tool inside. Have you got much space for any more of these machines? We have, yeah. I mean, you can see straight up the middle of this shop, we've got a lot of space for new machinery. So, yeah, we're, we're able to, and we've got room to expand.